No Do you ever consider gang life? Uh, um, not really. I was not because, uh, like in high school, what I was lead up. Fuck me forever. <laughs> Become best friends. Yep. <laughs> We're back for another episode of Significant Brothers. Uh, it's the official podcast of Adobo and New York Bagels, brought to you by our sponsor, Oranges. Mm mm, Naval. So, uh, Leandro. We were talking in the last episode. Yes. Or three episodes ago or four episodes in the One future. One of them. Whatever yeah. these releases. We don't film like in, in the past. Con- uh, consecutive order? What is that called? Chronological. Uh, Chronological. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to talk to you about toilet seats. Oh, up. boy. This is going to be good. Toilet seats growing up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. like when the toilet seats get older. Yeah, right. When they <laughs> age and get yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go through puberty. This is red. <laughs> Blood <laughs> red. <laughs> Did you ever mushy toilet seats? You know what's funny when you brought up toilet seats. You knew you were thinking of the mushy about. ones because those the are one disgusting. That, like, the, the, that, like, the, the, the green ones that go <laughs> gross every time you sit on them. Isn't and that they were always warm? Wait, isn't that for hemorrhoids though? No, that's yeah, a don- mm. No, I just think that was just I like think that was a style. That of was like comfort in the nineties. That's disgusting. That in and, the twenties and keeping right minorities <laughs> at bay was comfort in the nineties. Yeah. With that um, seat. No, I just meant society. And oh, they, w- oh. they would always get like a rip in them, too. They always got like a stress tear. Yeah. Okay, too but this... Too big of a person so, got on so that. So you're, you're down with the mushy toilets, right? The I'm one down thing with them, but I feel you. Mushy is like a weird way Well, you feel it. them. It's gross. It's like They're mush. mush. They're mush. They're disgusting. Have you been thinking about buying one? No, oh. but what I have been thinking about buying... The exact yeah. opposite, actually. Is it a bidet? You, no, not a bidet. Oh. <laughs> Although, shout out my buddy Matt last night. He was saying he puts his bidet so hard it's creating a second asshole. <laughs> what the hell what is it? A, a like pressure washer? Blasting them. And even his wife like confirmed when she He's goes like down to the first floor. The <laughs> <laughs> it pushes him up. Yeah. <laughs> no, um No, I want to get an epoxy one, like a resin one a with coins one. in it. Amanda wants one of those. But it was like Thank b- you. It was like barbed wire or some shit barbed like that. Wire. Yeah, they have a couple of them actually. But no, I would growing like up, did you have people with coins in them? And like seashells? Um, Jack and Kayla had never heard of the it. Seashell one. Jack yeah. and Kayla had seashell. never heard of it. Never they were like never resin one. toilet seats. That's a big market. No, it's not that I hadn't heard of a resin toilet seat. I had never heard of a resin toilet seat with like the coins in them. They're really expensive now. They're yeah, like NFTs. Very, very over yeah. a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. What did you look? You said the cheapest one you found was like 150. 150 right? bucks. Yeah, and it was used. We should <laughs> we should set up a resin toilet seat right here. Yeah. With <laughs> coins all over it with our photos. Can we find it. a resin toilet seat sponsor? I want one with like uh, heroin needles in it. <laughs> <laughs> heroin needles and pills in it. That would look pretty lit. Like a p- the party's in this toilet right here. Like when you go to throw up, you know. And that's wait, can the needles be used? Like, so, so like when you sit down. No. It injects yeah, yeah. in your ass, <laughs> and then the sitting action injects the liquid into your body. That's disgusting. <laughs> what kind of genius? So you're like, now you're dosed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With whatever I put in there. <laughs> there's like, there's an LED sign in there that goes, yeah. now you're dosed. Yeah. As soon as it goes down, it lights yeah, it up It also red. presses a button. <laughs> a nurse pops out of the shower and gives you like a card. <laughs> oh, where did you come from? <laughs> Wait, so th- was that a thing growing up at the... Um, in the Carney, what's that movie theater? Mer- theater in Carney, Stinking Lincoln. Did never you ever go to there? Never heard of it. Okay, it was called. I, ne- I didn't leave Bergen County. It's called the Lincoln younger. Theater. Ditto. This is Hudson County, brother. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I never left. What do you mean, ditto? P- P- Six not in Bergen <laughs> County. No, I never left my county. Oh, okay. Hudson you County. Cross in the 90s. over the bridge and you're into like Rutherford from Passaic. I've been in Lod- Lodi. Where, what's Lodi? Lodi, Bergen. Bergen County. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been there a couple <laughs> times. Let's not give any details about ourselves, though. <laughs> No, oh, you already said our town on episode two. It was a joke, Leandro. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no, did the cops ever come into like your dare program and say, "Do you remember no. the running rumor we had the for Harlem the Bloods and the Crips well, that it? if you flashed the light at them during yeah. gang initiation week, they would follow you home and murder you?" No, your that family? was if like if somebody had their uh, 
that didn't have their headlights on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you flashed at them I to turn like their headlines on. That's probably a MySpace like. Uh, no, no, it's way I've before MySpace. I've heard it. I've heard of it. Like when myths used to spread like wildfire in the nineties. Mm-hmm. You think that was just like the all those people who spread those myths in the nineties stormed the Capitol. I I think that one it happened probably one time. And then they were like, oh, that those blacks, it must, it must happen that way every time. I, I didn't have my lights <laughs> on, and they beat the shit out of me. They said, they said we grew up in New Jersey. This though. is a blood initiation. No, but they always used to say. Back then, though, they it would be like, like oct- it would be like, <laughs> sorry, I hit the mic. Before my it speech. would be like October 1st, and they would always go like, you know what this is? It's a uh, blood and crip yeah. initiation. Like, week. Keep in mind too, we they didn't have any crip. This on isn't the East a frat. Keep it's it, a gang. Keep in mind too, they were saying this to like eighth graders. We're yeah, oh no, yeah. We don't drive. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember <laughs> my tricycle? No lights. No, on. but it was like warn <laughs> your. Pa- it was like yeah. warn your parents. I came home and I was like, Papa, <laughs> madre, you have to cuidado, cuidado, cuidado en la calle. Remember <laughs> to turn on la luz <laughs> to your. Car. I not, want to, I want to stay a part of the Latin King. Mami, yeah. mami, no tocas, no tocas la luz in in el coche. Well, the one thing that I did have, I never had that. I always saw it like on like you know stupid websites. But the thing I did have was I had a Latin King come to my school, and he like he was just in the monarchy in in <laughs> the Dominican Republic. He's like this He's is got our like the big cape on and yeah. Everything. It was like oh shit, like a, a it's a Latin King. <laughs> But no, it was like a, you know... A you have any Latin queens, what jesters? Uh, oh my no, God, it's a Latin so. prince. It's the sun. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think they're all Latin kings. But um, <laughs> no offense to Latin kings. I always thought the Latin kings... He's ki- saying these things, no. not me. I always thought but, the Latin uh, kings were fake growing up. Oh, they're very real. So <laughs> what they do is when you sign up... They don't have good PR, though. They have great PR. No, actually. they don't. I'm telling it you. It was always Bloods no, and Crips They're the most up. organized gang out of them all. Is Period. that true? Yes, yes. Yeah. Bloods and Crips are very chaotic because they're they all go to like street rules. <laughs> Boy, we're gonna get no, no, no. This they, yeah, even oh, they'll say, even they'll say it. They're very chaotic. They're no, not no. Really but I meant PR wise, like growing up, you were never scared of the Latin Kings. Exactly. Until like I'm scared of them. A, okay, I'm scared of them as an adult. Let's make that very clear. We're a pro Latin, pro Latin King podcast. We're, no, we are the Latin Kings. <laughs> I'm pro. <laughs> He's a proponent. But uh. <laughs> Uh, we no. have no <laughs> that gas. A better way to put it is we do not have any problems with gangs. I, yeah, I, exactly. I am. I'm not anti-gang. I'm not pro-gang. I'm anything with gangs. Yeah. I'm just calling out. Growing up, as that long as everybody's having. Growing fun. up in a you per, didn't have any Latin middle class in this town. Well, I was. I was. Yeah, you're going to be the only Latin king. Your dad's going to actually my jump mo- you in. You know what? You had the Italian. My parents growing up time. did call me Ray. Yeah. Which is which is your Spanish mom, for king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your so I was essentially a Latin king. Your yeah. mom still calls you that. Shout out, gang, gang. He's false flagging. Who heard that? <laughs> he said he's he's technically a Latin hey, king. Papi. I don't co-sign on any of that. But back to what I was saying about the no. Latin but I'm king. saying growing up, the Latin kings did not get the press that the Bloods and Crips did. And that's what, how that's you want it, though. Right. You don't want no one knowing. What I know. You're doing I know exactly what Landry said. The mafia is the thing. mafia gets press. The mob. It wasn't Jersey. good press. We just caught. Johnny Gambino but killing that's, fifty. That's people. what I mean. Like Dare was allegedly. Dare was coming in and saying like the Bloods and Crips are bad, but you never. They never came in. and They were like, you think stay away from the Latin Kings? Yeah. Do you think the cops in the Dare program were they were affiliated? No, they were all like no incredibly white. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were cops. Shatter <laughs> Officer Jankowski. But the but the whole thing about the Latin. Who's kings your Dare is, officer? Who's your Dare officer? Uh, Sergeant Diane. How about you? Actually, I think I had detective. I'm telling you, I had, a la- I had an actual Latin king. You think <laughs> fucking we had police officers trying to tell us what we were seeing they every day? They didn't want to go into position. They were like, no. It was yeah. like the National Guard. They were out there recruiting <laughs> at your high school. The SWAT came in. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> listen here, kids. Don't do drugs. I'm a f- Fucking love you. <laughs> you can't say they're going to beat us up, but they would. They dropped into wait, the ceiling wait, of the gym. Wait, wait. <laughs> Pasek- you went to Passaic High School, right? Yeah. The Public boots. School. Like the booths for us were like Rowan University, Rutgers University, Felician. If you didn't get good grades, yeah. and at, uh, and I went to NJIT. <laughs> <laughs> the Andros College Fair. There was a Latin King booth. There was a Crip booth. Recruiting. <laughs> I, that's an alternative. Military. And then, and then like on the. Do you ever consider gang life? Um. 
Not really. I was not because uh, like in high school, what I was lead up like today. I'd probably get recruited because I'm a cooler guy. But back then, <laughs> when, I was this, when I was this dude, I got bullied a lot. So no one, no one gets, you know, you don't have nerds in your fucking gang. Would nobody do your homework for you guys. Nobody's recruiting the little Spanish kid to with a bowl fair, cut and a though, Scooby-Doo hat. Thank you. I feel like most of those gangs need organized nerds. I mean, at, to some capacity, like today, they're doing nowadays, the accounting for the for the gang. Yeah, but back then there was no like, like you said, PR. Like right now, gangs, a lot of them do. His chess team was called the Latin Kings, because <laughs> like back then, a lot of the things were Knight uh, to Knight to E five. That's actually a pretty good name, the Latin Kings. That is a good for chess. But um, <laughs> with the number one podcast of Latin King chess teams, <laughs> <laughs> they only use <laughs> yellow, like <laughs> chess pieces. <laughs> I like it. Fuck your blue fucking night. Uh, uh, wait, what were you saying, Landry? Yeah. Uh, about <laughs> me being a nerd? Oh, so <laughs> back then, like, the, the way that they would do crime wasn't really anything cyber. Did you go to NJIT to feel at home because it was Newark? Fuck no. It's because a bunch of my friends were like, we applied and got in. You should apply too. And I was like, all right. And got in. And you just casually got into like a Do they still have 93% men? That's tough. Uh, I mean, I had no problem with women. I think <laughs> so that's their problem if they got hella dudes. Oh, Leandro had the <laughs> Leandro had a hundred percent of the six percent. You know, mm-hmm. and what you were studying computer science? Yeah, I mean, and then I got pretty much kicked out. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst sound ever came through the microphone. <laughs> <on that>. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like your uh, your car in college when it used to You're start. To start a car. <laughs> <laughs> But I would have probably get kicked out. I would have probably grades? not finished it anyway. Uh, yeah, bad what grades. I mean, you probably wouldn't have finished it anyway. Because you weren't finishing it, you got kicked out. But computer, no. But if I had the option to continue doing it, I would have probably. You had anything. the option. You just didn't get the good grades. I mean, even after I could have continued, I would have just had to pay out of pocket, and I'm poor, as we know. It's a joke. But um, <laughs> what's a joke? Me being poor? No, like me <laughs> ragging no, on serious. poor. Like I love, I love, I love the poor. All right, uh, Trump. <laughs> I I really really love poor. Love the poor. Love all of you, the Latin kings, the, the Latin queens, all of you. The people jumping over the fences. <laughs> I came up by water. Actually, I was born here, so. Uh, <laughs> he was a water birth in a bathtub. He, but, he swam across. Where were you born? What hospital? St. Mary's, I think. It's Is like that in Patterson? Yeah, in Patterson. He swam across the Pacific. That's St. Joe's, I thought. I was jumped in right there. Probably. So I guess that's where it was. Oh, I think St. Mary's is closed. What day of the oh, week no, were no, you? St. Mary's is like in Pacific. What day of the week were you born? I don't fucking know. What am I, a star sign guy? <laughs> That's <laughs> month. Week? What, what day were you born? Tuesday. What time? One fourteen. I have no clue what mine are. I don't know mine either. Yeah. You need that for your star sign, like the time. But uh, that's something your mom told you. My mom would No, never it's on your birth certificate. Oh. The time? Yes. Oh, I got to look at that. What do you think? I just fucking have it hung over my bedpost every day and I look at it. <laughs> oh, it's I'll Tuesday. Never forget where you came from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a piece of paper. It's about, <laughs> it's about being humble. Humble of what? That you were born? <laughs> we all have that right. What do you like? <laughs> to all the dead people who never got this paper. They got a death certificate versus a birth one. <laughs> I mean, technically, you got to be alive to life, be alive. Life is about getting that paper, unless it's the <laughs> second paper. Yeah, exactly. I never want to see that second paper. And then Not they got even. No. Abelardo. What's, what's stereotypical about Jesus Abelardo? Uh, That's your first name is Jesus? No, it's my uncle. Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, your uncle's name Abelardo? No, my uncle's name is Jesus. Oh, because you said Jesus Abelardo. They're brothers. Munoz. Your, oh, that's your dad's name? Yeah, my dad's no, name is my name. We are going with all oh, of Oh, so you're a junior. I'm a... He's can, a junior guy. Can you guys get really close to the microphones and do your social security numbers real quick? Junior. You don't know your last name. You don't name. know your social security number, do you? Off the top of my head? Yeah. No. <laughs> I know the last four numbers. <laughs> Not going to say it, though. <laughs> well, if I think hard enough, I could probably pull it out of my ass, like the numbers. <laughs> if I think really hard, I could probably remember them. That'll, be, like that'll be the um, a Patreon episode. Yeah. yeah exactly. At what? what uh, how, many subscribe- <laughs> <laughs> how many subscribers would you give away your identity? At how many? Yeah. How hard would it be to change my social security number? Fuck. Impossible. Impossible. You have one number. <laughs> really? So if you find someone's social security number, you can ha- you're them forever, pretty much. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know if I could put a number on that then. <laughs> Fuck, what? <laughs> so uh, we work to get a million subscribers, and now they just steal my identity. I'm broke again. <laughs> you know? <laughs>